In this lesson, we are going to discuss the practical uses of electromagnetic waves. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to explain the common functions of electromagnetic waves and how these improve our way of life. We have previously discussed the seven types of electromagnetic waves. In this discussion, we are going to answer the question, what functions do these waves serve the world? Electromagnetic waves have several functions, but we are going to focus on their uses on technology, nature, and health. We may usually associate electromagnetic waves with technology, particularly with phone functions. An integral part of modern telecommunications is the cellular phone. Phones were invented mainly for communication, which is made possible by transmitting radio waves through a network of fixed antennas called base stations. Cell phones are developed to function not only in communicating, but also in file transferring. Impulses of infrared waves were first used for file transfer, but after several modernizations on phones, Bluetooth wireless technology is used which can transmit signals between telephones, computers, and other devices over short distances using short-range radio frequencies. Phones are also developed to connect to the internet. A local area network is a computer network that connects two or more wired or wireless device to a network in a limited area, such as a home, school, computer lab, campus, or building. Radio waves are used to transmit the signal from the server to the local network. From the local network, data are transferred to the connected devices using microwave, and for higher versions of connections like those in fiber connections, visible light plays an important role in data transfer. Aside from these short-range communication modes, electromagnetic waves are also useful to communication systems on long ranges just like in broadcasting. Amplitude modulation broadcasting, or commonly known as the AM broadcasting, modifies the amplitude of the radio waves which are used to reach longer distances. These are commonly used in radio news stations so that the information can reach significantly on far areas. However, the disadvantage of using this type of system is the poor sound quality. The opposite of this broadcasting system is the FM system. FM broadcasting or frequency modulation broadcasting modifies the frequency of radio waves for better sound quality and less susceptibility to noise. This makes it suitable for radio entertainment broadcast systems, which usually involve music. The disadvantage of using FM radio is that it is easily impacted by physical barriers. Similar to radio broadcasting, television broadcasting is also a practical use of electromagnetic waves. Television broadcasting also uses radio waves since it involves long-range communication. Radio waves allow us to watch our favorite television series, movies, and be updated with the current happenings around the world. And speaking of world, electromagnetic waves are not only limited to the interactions of everything on Earth. Electromagnetic waves are also present in space. For example, space probes. A space probe is a robotic spacecraft that explores further into outer space to study the heavenly bodies instead of orbiting around the Earth. These probes send data back to the Earth using radio waves. Around the Earth are the complex machines used for satellite imaging. Satellite imaging is used for Global Positioning System or GPS, which is used for traffic navigations and location trackers. Information are transmitted and received using radio waves and microwaves. Artificial satellites which orbit the Earth also function for defense, disasters, environmental purposes like weather monitoring, oil and gas, mining, and more. Information processing is just one of the functions of microwave. We commonly know microwaves for food preparation. By creating intermolecular friction between the food's molecules, microwave ovens cook food. The microwaves vibrate water molecules which produce heat as the molecules experience friction. Higher than the microwave are the infrared waves which are responsible for night vision systems. The systems like goggles detect heat which are in the form of infrared. These rays are then converted to visible light to produce the images. Infrared rays are also used in remote controls to switch channels on televisions and other gadgets. The beeping light here is in the higher end of infrared which is usually mistaken as the visible red light. Visible light is useful in technology as laser. Laser is the acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. 
Laser can be used in slicing materials for better precision. Laser is also used in compact discs. The CD drive uses a laser at the CD surface and will convert the reflections from the bumps into the binary numbers 0 and 1 by the amount of laser light which it reflects. EM waves higher than light are also used for detection. For example, in money. Ultraviolet light is used to detect counterfeit on banknotes, other documents, and fine art. Special features of these artifacts are detected under UV light. UV light is also used in much more complex investigations, like in crime scenes. For various purposes of forensic investigations, UV light methods are used for illumination of latent fingerprints of crime scenes and trace proof on clothes, analysis of stains of ink, and more. On more complex types of detectors, X-rays are used as object scanners. Molecules of dense materials completely absorbs the energy of the incoming X-ray. This reduces a pulse of light as the molecule D excites, this time in the optical field of the electromagnetic spectrum. In summary, EM waves are very useful in the technological aspect. It may be in our homes or even in the vast universe. However, EM waves are not always technological. This may also be naturally occurring. The most common of which are the colors of the visible spectrum. The reason why we live in a world with diverse colors is that materials absorb whatever wavelength of light it can and reflects the color which it will show. For example, in plants. Plants are usually green because of chlorophyll which absorbs blue and yellow light but reflects green light. But there are some plants which have different colors. Anthocyanin gives plants a pink to blue color. Carotenoids gives plants yellow to bright red colors. However, the green pigment in plants enable them to photosynthesize. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants transform visible light to glucose and oxygen. This is also applicable to autotrophic organisms. For plants that require regulated climatic conditions, greenhouse is used. A greenhouse is made up of glass walls and glass roofs, which regulate the amount of visible light in other climatic conditions depending on the situation of the location. The visible light is not only useful for plants but also for animals. Some animals are bioluminescent. They use visible light to attract mates and prey, and even to camouflage themselves or scare away predators. In summary, electromagnetic waves are also used in the biological aspect for different purposes. It is the visible light which is the most useful since we have a natural relationship with light, particularly with the sun. Sunlight is an EM function which overlaps nature and health. Ultraviolet B will hit the cholesterol in cells to produce the energy which is needed for vitamin D synthesis. But it is important to take note that exposure to sunlight should be regulated. The use of sunblock with varying sun protection factor is recommended. In the field of medicine, X-rays penetrate the body and absorb by the dense organs. These are then converted to light to form images. Usually, X-rays are used on the chest area to detect any abnormalities in the respiratory system. X-ray images can be combined to see cross-sections. This is used in CT scans. CT scan stands for computerized tomography. It uses X-rays at different angles to create images of the slice of the bones, blood vessels, and other soft tissues of the body. Another type of medical imaging is the MRI. The MRI or magnetic resonance imaging is a medical imaging technique that produces accurate pictures of the organs and tissues in your body using a magnetic field and computer-generated radio waves. Unlike X-rays and CT scans, the MRI does not use potentially harmful EM waves. These medical imaging techniques are useful in detecting disorders like tumors which may lead to cancer. Cancer is a cell division disorder which is difficult to stop as these cells can move from one tissue to another. Aside from chemotherapy, gamma rays can be used to destroy the tumors in the cells so that they would stop dividing. However, the risk is great because gamma rays are highly ionizing. EM waves are also used in correcting refractive errors of the eye. Laser is used in LASIK or laser-assisted in situ keratomyelosis. Laser is used to reshape the cornea of the eye, which corrects the problems on vision. 
Lower EM waves can also be used in detection of simpler illnesses like fever since heat is detected by thermal scanners by using infrared rays. Lastly, ultraviolet rays are used for cleaning such as teeth whitening. It may also be used in sterilizing rooms and food because UV rays destroy the cells of microorganisms so that they would stop reproducing. Electromagnetic waves are used also in the natural and technological aspects of health and medicine. These are useful at the home, public places, hospitals, and even outdoors. After discussing the three major classifications of electromagnetic wave uses, let us review the following key points. Electromagnetic waves are technologically useful and functional in communication, safety, high-end technologies, and even in the things which we use every day. Electromagnetic waves are used by organisms for different physiological and behavioral processes like energy processing, survival, and sexual reproduction. And lastly, electromagnetic waves are used to prevent, detect, manage, and treat diseases. And that ends our discussion on the practical uses of electromagnetic waves.